So you've completed your painting project and maybe you followed the tip on removing things like switch plate covers from the wall before you paint so you can get those professional results. And now you're wondering, okay, so how long should I wait before I start to reinstall things like switch plate covers? Well, in this video, I have the answer for you. And if you haven't had a chance to check out that video where I go over the reasons for removing things like switch plate covers or other items that are attached to the wall before you paint, click this link here. Okay, so what's the answer? How long should you wait before you start to replace things like switch plate covers? Well, the short answer is this. Wait as long as you can. The reason for that is, even if the paint feels like it's dry and it's been a day or two, the paint may not have fully cured and hardened yet. And if you rush to put things back on the wall before the paint is fully cured, like a switch plate cover here, and you go ahead and tighten that down, and you have to remove that later on, a month later, a year later, because you need to replace the switch plate cover or replace the switch, the paint may have stuck to the back side of the switch plate cover. And when you go to remove that, you might rip a piece of the paint off the wall. Then you're dealing with repairing and patching paint, trying to color match and things like that. So wait as long as you can. Now, what does that actually mean? What am I talking about here? A day, two days, a week, a month, a year? Well, a few days is probably fine. A week may be better. Just as long as you give the paint at least a few days to start to cure up, it'll probably be fine. I have an additional tip on top of that, especially if you're in a hurry to get these things back on the wall so you can move on to another project. And I do recommend doing it this way, regardless of how long you've waited, even if you waited a full week. And that's this. So when you go to replace these, go ahead and start to put these back on. like so. But don't tighten it all the way down. Leave it kind of loose so it kind of jiggles like this. The reason for that is if you tighten it all the way down, it will press that into the wall. And if the paint hasn't fully cured yet, it will stick to it. Now it's not really a big deal leaving them loose like this. These are mostly just a decorative item. They do serve one purpose of preventing accidental contact of the electrical connections that are inside the switch or the outlet. But as long as you make a few turns on the screw, enough to hold it in place and keep it from falling off the wall, you'll be totally fine. You can always come back a few days or a week later and tighten it down the rest of the way after that paint's had plenty of time to fully cure. So I hope that helps you out. I hope that helps you get professional painting results. And if you haven't had a chance to yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can follow along on this family room remodel project and leave a comment in this video or any of the videos in the series. Let me know how you think the project's going or if you have any ideas that I haven't thought of yet and I'll see you on the next video.